Alright guys, I am back. Welcome back to the Fence! It's me, your host, Fence Child LLG, here to bring you Life is Strange, Episode 3. We're continuing. I'm excited. We're gonna find out what's going on with Max. Um, let me post a tweet out that I'm playing Life is Strange, because I'm sure people want to know about that, right? Let's see. Here we go. Life is Strange. And Okay. Here we go. I I set up my tweet earlier for um Warframe and I just totally forgot to click the tweet button. I do that so much. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay. Here we go, I'm just gonna continue from the last time. So it's nighttime now. I think we, uh, last we saw, our last episode of this game that we saw, um, Maxine and Chloe had broken into the school after hours to do some investigating. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude. I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. Oh, I'm serious. Right. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I get charges for just entering. For what, killer? We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can okay. rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. It's true. The way that she talked Kate down, that's what saved her. So you can almost shoot somebody on Monday and party on Friday? <laughs> Prescott power. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. <laughs> Join the chess team. <laughs> I would. That'd be fun. Okay. Oh, the reactor. Thanks, man. Yeah, totally. Thank you. Ice cold drinks. All right. I guess um. I guess we should just go into the principal's office. There's nothing really to explore. We've already looked around the whole school pretty much. Or at least as much of it as we can. Yes, I did, Winterhawk. letter there's no way david would get in mrs grant's face she'd shut his ass down fast <laughs> okay let me see here dear miss michelle grant as head of security at blackwell academy it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body i know i'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students but i'm making but i know i'm making sure their safety is my prime directive since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves, as does the 15.4% drop in campus crime. I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that you will redact this position or this petition and consider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest in safe and private security. Sincerely, David Madsen. You know, I really feel like the cameras in the long run will prevent more crime, but I, the, the freedom lover in me doesn't want to be surveyed all the time. They put those cameras all over the place. Trendy I feel hat. bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. That is cute. <laughs> what I mean I can get him back is I mean Rhino Prime was harmed from my friend, not me. Oh, I see what you're saying, Winterhawk. Okay. No, this is not a horror game, Pagan Magic. This is a, uh, this is a, basically an adventure game. It's a story adventure game driven by choice. Like I don't nuts. know what to call it, really. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. <laughs> How to Feed Your Inner Spirit Animal by Dr. B. Bracamonte. 
Samuel's spirit animal is a squirrel, by the way, for those of you who don't know. Okay. What's a horror game you have? I will spin my gill on a ticket so you can play one. Dude! Alright, but you can't do it this block because we can only have one game ticket per block, but keep it in keep it in mind for the future. I have lots of horror games, dude. Only um, a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. <laughs> Just zombie out in the hallway. Forget about the principal's office. I didn't zombie out. You calm down. I um I've got like all the Dead Space games. I have uh I don't hit the no triangle? Okay. I got a bunch of stuff actually. Um I can't think of it all right now. I'll have to show you at some point though. That's it. I, I think a few of them will be behind the me fuck? here. The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well now we definitely have to get this door open. You Believe can only buy not, one I game ticket per block. Lock picking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Okay. Time to search. I cry. Oh. Hmm. Boring. Should have chose a horror game. <laughs> Dead end. Nothing here. Hmm. You're still at 80%, Donut? That 80% is taking forever. That last 20%, rather. Nothing to see here. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hold on, I want to find the key. Hey, Warren, you busy? No. Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. <laughs> uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. Chloe's gonna be pissed. Yeah, I already finished the DLC, man. Sucks it was intense. It God took me like six door. hours. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put Sugar, it together. Soda can, duck can you stay tape, here and, and not else. get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Hmm. Okay. Sodium chlor. What the fuck? Just the power used to create create chlorine dioxide. <laughs> I bow to your wisdom. All right, let me scroll up a bit. What does this see? See, you have to find four objects: sugar can, a soda can, or sugar, a soda can, duct tape, sodium chlorate. Into the can. Oh, they're making, like, a bomb. What the heck? That's not picking a lock. <laughs> oh, I got another... No, I got another message from a private number. We should check and see what that is. And two from mom that we should read. Okay. You're gonna farm some gill pagan magic? Nice! Hang out with us here on the fence. Say what's up from time to time. Let us know that you're still alive. Oh, uh, you didn't get to watch the end? I'll get another chance to play through it, Winterhawk. I'll probably be trying that on Insane before I ever try, uh... No, no, no. I probably will try regular Outlast on Insane next time I play it. 90 freaking 9! Woo! <laughs> yeah, thank God, Stan. I can handle it. What? 
Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Hey, whore. Feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Feminazis? What is this guy even talking about? We know it's, uh, what's-his-face. Nathan Prescott. At least we think. Hmm. No, I have not, Bear. Thanks for letting me gush over... Blackwell here, or over our Blackwell hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud of... So milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxine. Oh, she heard about the girl. She heard about Kate. Let's see. Hey, honey, I hope you don't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. <laughs> I drowned my plant. <laughs> I feel so bad. Max, please call us as soon as you can. We're so proud of you for saving this girl. We want to know how you are, so please get in touch. We love you. Sorry, Mom. I'll call you back in a few minutes. Swear. Okay, cool. Alright, oh my god, I thought that was your real phone. I was like, who the hell are these people? <laughs> yeah, not, Warren not is such quite, a classic Donut. Nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Okay, sugar. We make you some from. Well, we can get a can from the vending machine. Totally. Release the crack can. Crack can. Oh my God. The puns. Give. It's all mine anyway. Yum. Only three more items to go. Okay. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Right, where would there be sodium chloride here? There's a science book. I guess we could look at it. I know, Bear. It's so sad. You're paying attention because this is awesome. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Sodium chlorate, NaCiO3 synthesis, uses. The properties of sodium chlorate is an inorganic compound that is commonly used as a weed killer. Toxicity in humans. Okay. Where is the sodium chlorate? It's gotta be... Yeah, graffiti here. Look, a fish tank. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. photo yeah thanks fish nice work <laughs> cool turn off please resume your slumber all right feminazis are women who make real feminists look stupid feminazis are sexist but max isn't a feminazi so i don't really understand that what that text meant then yeah, Warren's super smart. He's like, they, that's why they call him Science Guy. Oh, there's sugar. I did not expect to find that up here. Ooh, sugar. You're halfway okay. home, Max. Yeah. Hey, welcome back, TYB dollars. Did you blow up? <laughs> Still here, didn't blow up, not yet. I need to concentrate now. Talk to you later. Only a beam. What's up, Winterhawk? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. <laughs> Practical chemistry, B minus. Cause teenagers. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't. I guess they don't have to be very logical. Then, do they? biology. Ugh, oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> As biology. A periodic table. <sighs> Wish I knew what periodic means. Um, Max, you should know what periodic means. Oh. Okay. Oh, let me see. Can I buy an Encore in the last five minutes of the game ticket? I have never thought of that. Huh. 
as long as you keep it keep uh, as long as it keeps up life is strange I really love this game I'd play some more I'd have no problem playing some more even if we finish it I don't mind going and playing through another episode and trying to make some different decisions because you can make so many different choices in this game that affect all the different episodes it's really cool get this a little closer to my face because it's bothering me it's too far You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Hmm. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. <laughs> She's already said that. <laughs> okay, so we got the sugar. I thought we would get the sodium chlorate here, too. Where do we pick that up? I guess I'll have to find another room, huh? Okay. Okay, even worse! Oh no! Poor, poor Winterhawk. This is like a scene in a horror film. It's like a scene in a horror film? But Max, if you can't find sodium chlorate in the science lab, give it up. <laughs> but what else could be here at night? A cigarette pack. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. You know it. Who is not impressed by cigarettes? Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Hmm. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max, the art critic. <laughs> oh man, okay, this door doesn't open. <clears throat> I probably should find those items now. Winterhawk, I'm gonna go back. The I'm just looking around mine. here. I have to explore everything. Only you guys know my play style. Left. Yes, there's the sodium chlorate. I bet we could do this sequence much better next time, too. Okay, what is the point of the game? Well, basically, you take on the role of uh, Maxine, who has just moved back to Arcadia Bay to become a student studying um, in photography um, under one of her idols. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Um, she is 18... Um, there's lots and lots of geeky references in this game. It's wonderful. It's a choice-driven game, so what decisions you make have consequences um, later on and in f future episodes. So it's episodic. There's five episodes. So things that I've done in episode one are affecting me right now here in episode three. Um, and you can have three files, so you can like have all kinds of different outcomes that happen and stuff. So it's a pretty cool game. But um, anyway, she discovers... like she She comes to school... And everything's going normal for a little bit. Oh, whoops. Oh, no, I'm supposed to be in here. Everything's normal for a while. She's getting harassed and picked on by, you know, mean girls and all this and that. She's the weird one. She just, like, plugs in her headphones and deals with uh, life that way. But then she discovers she has the ability to control time. She can rewind time uh, a little bit. And um, from then on, like, her whole life changes. And so this was what this game is about. No, this mixture doth not Max, if you can't find sodium chlorate in the science lab, give it up. Chemistry stuff, these are all beakers and files. It's gotta be here. Ah! Here it is. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Cool. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Okay, cool. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. <laughs> oh snap, literally. <clears throat> okay, and I think that's it for the hallway. Okay.
How do you run again? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, God. What have I done? Wrong button. There it is. That's the one I was trying to do. R2. Posters. Anything else laying around? Let's see, there's a bathroom. A long bathroom. time ago, Nathan got smacked down. <laughs> Maybe Kate started a revolution. Vortex Club sucks. Pray for Kate. Kate Marsh Power. Nice. Flush the Vortex Club. Dude, look. Turned everything around. Alright, but Kate's okay in this file. She's just, um... She got sent to a mental hospital, I think. Okay. Why do I need to go back to the lab, Winterhawk? I will patiently await your response as I go and grab some more water because I am fresh out. I will be right back, my friends. you didn't get all the things you needed. No, I got them. I've got four of them, man. Here we go. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. They're not wearing any gloves. <clears throat> that was so fucking cool. We're so gonna get busted. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Um, dude, we come in, get what we need, and we run. Um... Hello. I guess I guess there's no reason to be in here anymore. Hold the phone. Whoa. And now I'm inside. Ah, oh, that's right cuz it doesn't move Max's location. Oh shit. Winterhawk, stop giving me spoilers, dude. Tips are fine, but stop telling me how to play the game. I don't like backseat game players. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with her real one. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. Huh. It's okay. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. <laughs> the company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody <laughs> to know he has money. But no taste. But no taste. <laughs> How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. <laughs> I'm going to go for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair? Ah, this is a nice chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. 
Find us some clues about Rachel or Kate or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Okay. Killer, yes, I did move the lab teleporter. We broke it because um, we thought about it and we were like, yeah, it doesn't really need, we don't really need a teleporter from the spawn point into the labs. Like, it's not, It's like five seconds away. <laughs> we don't need to worry about it that bad. But um, I set up a teleporter from there to the bottom floor. We just need to finish putting in the materials for it. Just needs oxium, I think. It's in the barracks. And then, um, if you do end up putting more teleporters in our spawn room, make sure that they line up. Like, be, make them look nice. Um, turn it, hold the snap button, and then make it line up with the other teleporter. And then, um, you can have that go somewhere else, too. But, uh, just let me know what you're going to be building first. I know you asked me about the labs last time, but I didn't think it through, and so that was my bad. That's not you at all. Um, because I didn't think that it was, I didn't think about it being that close. So, I apologize for that. I wanted to send you a message, but you weren't online at the time. I should have just sent you a PSN message. So, did you, uh, did you blow the lock, Unabomber? Oh, please, I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives, and to see your incredible artwork. <laughs> Like she is getting on with Warren, finally. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Poor thing. Student information sheet. Kate Beverly Marsh. GPA 3.9. Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding, along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on K-Bay 7 News, and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as the school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne-Marie Berinci. Update to the file. At present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Okay. Poor Kate Only Marsh. Only two more files to go. Oh, they can look up here. They gave her such a hard time. I can't believe it. What other files can we be looking for? Look at this pile. I am. I am looking at this pile. Look at this pile. <laughs> Student file search. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. It's because his freaking parents have this academy in their back pocket. Oh, this guy's the dick. This is the mean guy who just hates on everyone. Okay, let's get into it here. Student information sheet, Nathan Joshua Prescott. GPA 3.7. Brief summary. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. What a crap record. They just gave a bunch of vague, the no details, but a bunch of vague information on what he does aside from his academic career here at Blackwell. That's ridiculous. Guys, feel free to answer the question of the day if you haven't done so already. We, remember, we got a new one for you every single day here on the fence, so be sure to come back on by and uh, see what the buzz is all about. Today I'm asking you guys, how do you beat the heat? Let us know in the comments below and we'll talk about it a little bit. It's, it's getting hot. It's summertime. It's getting hot out there. And with everybody on their computers and using machines and stuff, it's going to get even like hotter inside. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. Hey, look, it's Max. Let's do it. Okay. Student information sheet on Maxine Caulfield. GPA 2.8. Oh. 
Brief summary, Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much better potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates, and she has acknowledged she would be doing better, or she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so. But this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Mm. Air conditioner or a fan? That's a good that's a good common solution. Speaking of, we have to go pick up actually no, we gotta pull the fans from our garage and bring them in here and um see if that can help us out a bit. Look at I'm all kinda shiny. Because some of my sweat, like, stuck to my forehead. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we got to get some cooling going on in this room. It's getting so hot. So hot. And our AC is busted. Do you want to lend us yours, TYB dollars? <laughs> Update. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. Wow. At this time, there is an ongoing police-slash-faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. We're some of the best of the best in Blackwell because we saved a life. Everyday this heroes unite. This going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. Yeesh. Victoria Meribeth Chase. That's her middle name. Meribeth. GPA is 3.9. <clears throat> What's up, Winterhawk? A brief summary, Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from her faculty, or from faculty, for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell's spirit and history. It's not really hot in here, it was cold and floody, a lot of rain. Really? Must be nice. I'd welcome the rain, rain at this point. It's so hot here now. How come you haven't been uploading your Twitch streams to your YouTube channel? We have been, Winterhawk, but the ones that have music on them, we don't upload simply because um, Twitch mutes those VODs. So if you... Uh, what will happen is... It, okay. We've got them set to uh, automatically archive, right? Whenever I finish a broadcast. So... If I finish a broadcast, you can always come back here to the fence and, like, check out my, my past broadcasts and stuff like that. See which ones um, you haven't watched or gotten a chance to check out. But um, we should, if we don't have it on my YouTube channel already, then you can go to the past broadcasts here on Twitch and you can watch my uh, the end of my playthrough for, um, what's you call it, for Outlast Whistleblower. There we go. Because it is still up. It it automatically gets deleted after 14 days, but it's still up now. Okay. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. <laughs> what? Look at his GPA. Oh my god, 4.0? Must be nice. Student information sheet on Warren Graham. GPA, 4.0. Brief summary, Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift, or curse, of gab depending on the faculty. Uh, the gift or curse of gab, okay, I see, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Mrs. Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. He could be a scientist, this guy. Dude, it'll be fun. It's the same as watching YouTube. I mean, come on. <laughs> it just It's not as interactive as uh, it would be if it was live, of course. Which is where half the fun of my, nab my content is. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. <laughs> Tumbleweeds. Rip. Alright. Nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Whoa, that's a big file. All right, let's take a minute here. Student information sheet on Rachel Dawn Amber. Dawn is her middle name. All right, update. 
Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with student or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts, and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic ex excellence. So, she's been gone for a month. You'd think they'd be more concerned about her than just, like, her returning to continue her academic excellence. Vince, will you ever stream Metal Gear Solid? Because it is free. Hell yeah, I'll be streaming Metal Gear Solid. We actually own Ground Zeroes already. So, we'll totally get it. Get it rolling here at some point. You just ruined me. <laughs> what the heck, Winterhawk? Uh, brief summary. Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and, and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship that lead and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. <laughs> I like Ground Zeroes. Dude, it's a cool game. There's actually a lot of depth that goes into Metal Gear Solid games, and I, even Ground Zeroes is a good example of that. People just complain because the story was only, like, two hours. Who cares? <laughs> you could play... You, there's so much replayability in that game. If you play it like you play any other Metal Gear Solid, which is, like, multiple times anyway to unlock everything, there's, there's actually a lot to do in that game. Okay, um... I'm on the last part. Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi, or Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has been officially closed on our end. We always hope that, or hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for all your help, Lieutenant Chris Rossi, Arcadia Bay Police Department. So they gave up trying to find her. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad, Chloe. Bad. Bad, bad, Chloe. A cookie? <gasps> yum, 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 yum. Thank you so much, Winterhawk. I haven't had one in a while. I never played a Metal Gear Solid game till now. Really, TYB? Well, to let you know, um, Ground Zeroes is actually quite a different Metal Gear than uh, the old school Metal Gear games. So if you ever go back and play the originals, which I highly, highly recommend, you're in for a surprise. They're awesome games. They have a fantastic storyline, one of the best in any I've any game that I've played. And uh, I'm an RPG fan. Okay, this is coming from an RPG fan. Metal Gear Solid has awesome story. It's great. I encourage you to play the games just to check it out. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> You've awoken the beast in Winterhawk. All right, information on Chloe Price. Her GPA is 1.7. Oh, bad Chloe. Brief summary. This is back when she was still blonde. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell, despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often will willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray-painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion in against a non-mandatory institution. Update. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. Oh, snap. Attached police reports. She must have done all kinds of bad stuff. Hey, Remy, welcome back to the fence. How are you doing this evening, man? <laughs> Go all out. What's up, Akibi Okami? Welcome back to the fence. How are you doing today? I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. No way. Let's see. <clears throat> what about Metal Gear Rising Revengeance? That's not a freaking Metal Gear Solid game. <laughs> No, is what I say to Metal Gear Solid Rising Revengeance. Seriously, are you kidding me? Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. That last one, they didn't need to throw that in there. It's so weird. Oh, I'm glad to hear that you're doing well, Remy. 
Good deal. I'm doing good myself. I had a rough day up until this point, but I'm doing a lot better now. Thanks for asking. Guys, take a moment to click on that follow train link if you haven't done so already today. Remember, one vote per day helps me be on the fast track to attaining my sponsorship. So you guys do me an enormous favor every single time you click on that link. So thank you so much for doing so. Um, and the reason I have you click this link every single day is because votes do expire after 14 days. So it's imperative that we continue to vote on the follow train. Thank you, guys. <laughs> but it has Metal Gear Solid characters. Damn it! <laughs> um, Remy, vote is whenever you click on that link. Here, let me explain it, actually. Um... When you click on that link, it'll take you to a website called followtrain.tv. It's a promotional website for streamers such as myself. Basically, what got, what's going to happen is you'll click on that link, and then it's automatically going to cast me a VIP vote. And that VIP vote's going to do a couple things for me. It's going to move me up in their list system that's in a, in the Follow Train website, as well as place me on the front page using their VIP carriages. So it gives me a lot of exposure, gets my name out there. After you click on the link, you don't have to do anything else after that. It just automatically casts the vote, so don't even stress too much. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Principal Wells. In light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspicion, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, this situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you. Sean Prescott. What a doucher! You know, what a jerk. This guy is... No wonder Nathan's so messed up if he's being... You know, he's had this kind of guy as an example all his life. Sheesh. Turtle. 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 Okay. Oh, wait, what? This is one of the definitions of revengeance in Urban Dictionary. Oh my god, Az. Thank you so much for pulling this up. While revenge is served cold and vengeance is served hot, revengeance is often served with Cajun with the side of rice and onion rings and often dumplings in the Orient. <laughs> revengeance is Cajun style vengeance. <laughs> That's so cool. I, I can't believe I never thought to look on an urban dictionary. That's fantastic. You're not so tacky up close. I think it looks cool. Is there a photo op here? That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Op means opportunity in this conversation. <laughs> you need, need, need to make a turtle command. Seriously, what happened to Frog? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened to Frog. It like died. See, it, it's, he oh, it's Frog Song now, that's why. Here you go. Frog Song, because, uh, oh, damn it. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. There we go. I turned myself into a toad. <laughs> Thanks, Az. <laughs> I'll be lurking until my team is done with Vault of Glass and Destiny. Okay, what's up, Dan the Man? Welcome back to the fence. Always good to see you. <laughs> Winterhawk. Um, there is a uh, cooldown on it now. And it should be working. <gasps> is it working? Hold on, hold on. On a per user basis. Okay. Oh, there's cooldown and user cooldown for commands now, guys. So now I can be like, okay, if someone uses this command, they can only use it once every X amount of minutes. Or I can be, this command is only able to be used every X amount of minutes. That's so cool! Alright, so let me turn this CD off. This CD up. Add slash modify. Let me try again. Frog song. It 
It might take a minute for it to update properly. That's good. I'm glad we can't spam it anymore. Whew. That's a relief. <laughs> How are your runs going in Destiny, Dan the Man? All right, dear Mrs. Grant, or dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my glad, happy, fortunate duty to inform you that your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters, as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern for partial invasions of privacy, or possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion and your inspiring Blackwell and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition. Best, Principal Wells. At least he's on board for a decent cause. Shop will be the new spam. <laughs> <laughs> Remy, add me on PSN. That'll be the easier way to do it, because I want to continue with this game. It'll just go faster that way. All right, what are you up to, Chloe? Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan <laughs> accuses <laughs> Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. Wow. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott... Hey, That's Bunny, welcome back to the sign. fence. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad it's grades, in the text. teacher it's complaints, in the chat. secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. It's gotta be Samuel. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, hmm. the Super Hebros. <laughs> Jesus. The Super David Hebros. Was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? <laughs> Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's your best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Oh, snap. Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. What? Are you going to make a big issue out of this? Yes. Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Dude, leave the... You, no, we're not thieves. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office, Morg. Okay. Time to go. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. We can find another way around it. Let's see. Oh, man. Okay, we got some files here. <clears throat> because I'm not a thief, dollars. I do not promote thievery here on the fence. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, let me get that, uh... Let me get Remy's uh, friend request underway here. We could be buddies. It's going to be awesome. Iceberg! Cool. Cool! 
Exactly, it's for the handicapped. The handicapped could get that money. That's it, Winterhawk. <laughs> How are you doing today, bunny? Guys, feel free to answer the question of the day today. I got a new one for you every single day here on the fence, so be sure to stop back by and hear what all the buzz is about. See what we're talking about. My one for you today is how do you beat the heat? Let me know in the comments below and we can talk about it a little bit. Today, I've just been kind of toughing it out, honestly. Uh, we, we turn fans on and stuff in the room. Like, we have just our ceiling fan, but we got a bunch of lights on in here and the machines running are making it so hot. And then it's like 90 degrees outside, too, on top of it. All right, let's check this out. Good to hear, Bunny. Glad that you're doing well. Yeah, I literally beat the heat. Like, punched it in the face all... <laughs> Dear Mr. and Mrs. Prescott, We regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency. Due to a crude outburst in Mrs. Hoyda's Intro to Literature class on Tuesday, September 17th, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day, with a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has, an enormous, has enormous potential, but also erratic behavior problems that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of this situation. Please see the attached files for the full reports. Update. Expunged record. Wow. Dear Principal Wells, we received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from somebody in administration accusing Nathan of uncharacteristic, erratic behavior patterns. We're certain this must be a mistake, otherwise we fear that we will take Nathan out of Blackwell to a more prestigious and better funded institution. Please respond with a copy of the expunged disciplinary warning report. God, money. Money, money, money. It freaking rules everything. It's ridiculous. Let's see. We got eight more minutes of this. Riding the motorcycle? What? What? That sounds like fun, bunny. Cookie! Oh, God, I got the microphone, too. Don't eat the microphone. It's not a cookie. <laughs> So no, I'm not ending stream after this. I will be switching back to Warframe for a little bit. But I do need some food. I'm getting hungry. Okay. Blackwell Incident Report, Nathan Prescott. Ugh. Yum, 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 yum. Thank you, TYB dollars. I love the cookies. The following is a list of reported incidents involving Nathan Prescott. There seems to be a pattern of outbursts and confrontations followed by remorse and repentance. We suggest his parents remove him from the school and place him under expert psychological supervision. Throwing a desk in class. This is sounding vaguely familiar. Cursing at his English teacher. Lighting firecrackers in the bathroom. Stealing school supplies. Threatening the school custodian. Attempted theft of campus tabang Tabanga statue. Oh my gosh. Three of these things happened in my life. I threw a desk in a class once. I have also cursed at my teacher. I didn't threaten a school custodian, but I did get in a physical fight with a school custodian. I have to rethink my life a little bit, guys. This is rough stuff. Okay. Oh my god! I just kicked you out of the stream, Dollars? Really? <laughs> I wonder why. David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule in Mr. Madsen's talk, talk radio terminology, acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof, and he promised he had more to show. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David could deny this, and given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I'm cer I'm not certain I can believe her right now. Hmm. The plot thickens. They think Rachel was a drug mule? And now she's missing. Oh 
Oh my good gosh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, stop spamming co Okay, I'm putting a timer on the cookie command now. That's too much. It's too much. Yum, 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 yum. Thank you, Bunny Stalker, for the cookie. <laughs> that impish look scares me. Winterhawk Care says, for a midnight oh. swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? What? You want to take that risk now? That sounds fun. It's been fun. a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. I'm splish down. Splash? You're right. Splish, we splash, I'm taking the bath. Splish, splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. <laughs> I think I'm a good bad influence. <laughs> we were losing and we came back. Nice, Pagan. You guys kick butt. I'm lagging so hard right now. Really, Bear? No, we have decent internet. Sometimes the gateway just gets swamped and bandwidth starts going down the drain. As it were. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your splish, real life. Splash, I'm taking a bath. <laughs> Chloe is okay. so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. I'm down. Evil plan ho. Go otters. <laughs> Look at all them trophies. Otters rule. Give. I would love a soda, but I just get wired. But we're going swimming. Come on. Four minute warning, says Killer. Oh my. Boys or girls? Um, let's see. Let's be adventurous. Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. <laughs> Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Hey, wait. There's posters and stuff. I hope the otters will survive. The Earth can't wait. Inform yourself, then share. Become an eco volunteer today. www.icecaps.uo. What is a cookie? J. Remy, a cookie. Um, you can give me a cookie here on the fence if you type in exclamation point cookie. All is one string. Thank you for the cookie, by the way. Nom 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 nom. All I do is I just nom. <laughs> Four dollars for soda. Is that what it said, Bunny Stalker? Oh my gosh. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics. <laughs> Reward. Desperate for my stolen backpack with school books and new tablet. I need this for class, and my tablet has private pics of my late cats. Rest in peace. So I will pay a cash reward. No questions asked. If you have any details or would like to return the backpack, you have my contact info now. Please. Oh, poor woman. Or poor girl, rather, because tis, tis a uh, high school, I think. She lost her cat. And now, she lost her cat photos. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. <laughs> lost goggles. Mm. Way to go, dollars. Right, lost goggles. I admit I'm a goofball and I'm and misplaced my flexi wave swim goggles. If found, eternal gratitude and twenty-five dollars bean and hip cafe co gift card. Contact Ray Siren at R Siren at Blackwell Academy ed. Wait, that was a faculty member that lost his goggles? <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Into the boys' room because we're dangerous. Also, we can investigate more. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Rip. Rip. I guess I should consider this evolution. Hmm. No. Try and do it again, TYB dollars. I took the, uh, the full cooldown off of it and put a user cooldown on it. Dana, I know I'm an a-hole, but I still care about you. 
love, Logan. Don't be a damn fool, Logan. You already did. Try using the the Some poor hipster lost their vape. <laughs> Try using the frog sog command again. There, Winterhawk tried to do it twice and he's still on cooldown. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Diazepam. 15 milligrams. Risperidone. Wow, this is... Alright, hold on. Only thing that would have messed with me worse is if, um... There was Divalprox on there, too. Ugh. I've been around these medications so much. It's... Okay, um, let's see what else we got here. Floats! This must be for training kids. <laughs> Time's up! Alright, thank you for letting me know. I will save the game. We'll have, to, we'll have to look for some more stuff next time in our next episode of Life is Strange. It's weird because it's episodic, so I feel weird saying in the next episode of Life is Strange because it's just the episode of the episode. It's Epiception! Alright, exit to main menu. See, I am also getting off. Have a great night, have a great stream, and have fun on Warframe. Oh, okay, Winterhawk. Well, man, thanks for your support and uh, for hanging out here with us tonight. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have yourself a great night, and take care of yourself, Winterhawk. We'll see you next time on the fence. <laughs> Aw. I may have to have glitched the game to unlock Eris on Warframe. What do you mean, Stan? Um, Remy, what I'm what I'm doing now is I'm switching games. I'm going back over to Warframe, so I'm not going to go offline. Well, I will go offline briefly, but um, I've still got another about half hour with you guys tonight. So let's have some fun with some Space Ninjas. I'll be right back, guys. Thank you all for tuning in for Life is Strange, and um, I'll see you in the stars.